Sam Antonasi, the junior, hitting 366. First pitch swinging and a weak little flare drops in left field. One pitch, one hit for Coastal Carolina. Maroon the 3 2. Misses inside. It is a walk to put runners at first and second. Called strike three. Barthol down looking. Home runs, too. There's ball four. 2-2, two, two, waved at and missed. Marone gets another punch out, his second of the frame. Lifted high up into the air, deep into the gap, the left center field, it's gone! Graham Brown with a grand slam in the first inning, and Coastal Carolina takes a 4 to nothing lead. Definitely not the start that you want if you're NC State. They've been down in a lot of these games over the last week or so. But Coastal, once again, we talked about it. They take advantage of situations when you give them to them. It's walk, walk, one hit, and then an absolute bomb here into the left center field gap. Marone's two and two. Inside outed, and it drops down in left field in front of Josh Ho. And a miss of the strike zone. Maroon the one and one. Bounced over to the right side. Eaten up at first. And Garrett Pennington makes the play. Lofts that one up into the air. That's deep left field. Back to the track and over the wall. Opposite field home run for Alec Makarevich. And the Wolfpack gets one of those runs back. It's the one thing that's been impressive about AMAC for this NC State offense. He does not try to do too much. That ball is on the outside part of the dish. He has the strength to go Apo Taco. Puts up into that Doak stream. Sneaks over the left field wall. His team high eighth home run. And based on early returns, Here's Jacob Cozart. He goes the other way as well. That one's long gone. Consecutive swings, a couple of solo shots. And NC State, who gave up four in the top of the first, has cut it in half. Well, I take back the, uh, the good start that Coastal was having. Just two really good swings right there by NC State's offense. And we talked about, it. you know, they have guys in the lineup that have the power to do this. Once again, it's a two seam running away from Kozart, just runs right into the barrel. Program basically from the ground up. Pennington gets into one. No doubt, it's a long way away. Another solo home run for NC State, and it's within one. Darren, I have a feeling that ball is going to be a little harder than 99 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> that was the metric for the I first two. <laughs> there you go. 113, 451. 113 miles per hour. This is a fastball, middle, middle. Foot down. Talk about takeoff. You know you always get it when the left fielder just doesn't even move. Probably, you know, 3 nothing, 3 one Nope. Makarevich laces it the other way. It's off the base of the wall. He dives in safely and has a double his second extra base hit in as many tries at the plate. Kozart weakly lines one to the right side. He's out. Now a full count with two away. Laced through the infield on the right side. Sosa with the hit. And it will drive in a run. It's tied at four. Yeah, really good at bat. You know, you saw the pitches below the knees that he passed up on. This guy up and, you know, can we get guys in valuable innings? Waterworth, a little bloop shot, shallow left. And ranging from shortstop, Dooley is there to make the grab. Well struck through the right side of the infield for Blake Barthol. That is his first hit as he's now one for two. You know, travel ball and whatnot. Oh, picked him off. The runner had taken off Barthol. 
Now being run down, and the tag is applied to retire the side. Quick 0-2 to Jacob Cozart. He swings, can't connect. It requires a throw. Bender puts it on the money at first. Launched out to deep right center field, and that is gone into the bullpen. Books timed up the fastball and gives the shot to clears the lead again, five to four. That's a great job by Books timing up the fastball. Once again, it's a mislocation. It's supposed to be up at the letters. It is not. There's the astronaut helmet. Well, the full count, ball four taken, second walk of the night for Luke Nixon. Laced out into center field, it's down for a hit. Nixon on his horse, easily in at third base. They're at the corners with one away. Interesting profile. Sends it into the backstop, and a run scores. Tie game, five all. You know what, credit Nixon right there. The ones that are directly behind the catcher, those are the toughest ones to read. They actually make a really nice play on this. Closer than I thought it was going to be. Pennington watches ball four. Breaking ball and a big cut and a miss by Makarevich for strike three. Two batters face to walk and a strikeout for Fluky. First pitch, the breaking ball to Kozart. Gets by Bender, who sends it. Out into the outfield, though shallow off of the glove. It's two in scoring position for Jacob Kozart, and they will intentionally walk him. One, two. It's into left, and it's down for a hit. Serrano drives in one. Here comes a second. No throw from left, and the Wolfpack takes a two-run lead. Really shocked they don't go back with the curveball. Fastball on the outer half, a fantastic piece of hitting right there by Serrano. Through, up the middle. Another knock for NC State. The freshman Sosa brings in another, and it's a three-run Wolfpack lead. We talked about how good he's been tonight. It's just a pitch on the inner half, gets his hands to it. You've seen him be able to work his hands tonight for a freshman quick hands he knows it right away now to the plate big swing and a miss and Butterworth retired on strikes curious if Sosa just mishandled it good piece of hitting ripped into left field for a single now you've got me questioning myself <laughs> so if you can kind of get into that and make them work harder there's another base knock Flare into right for Zach Beach. Bodine goes from first to the third in a strikeout since, though. He's one for three. First pitch high into the air. That's into right field. Souls coming in to make the catch. He does. Here comes the throw home. Man, that was a rope. Yeah, really nice play by Souls out there. And the action clock got down to zero. That's ball four. The weight, the delay on the front end is, is clearly what's causing him problems, and that's ball four. A four-pitch walk to drive in a run. Banning's first pitch ripped into right field. Dooley singles and ties the game with two runs driven in. And right on cue, there you go. Base hit ties the ball game. We talked about Coastal finding ways to win. And they find a way to tie it up here in the eighth. Good piece of hitting. Just a two-seamer on the outside part of the plate. Now that is number 10, Sam this team just won't go away. Sosa digs it up, but unable to make a throw. Dooley from first to second. There are two in scoring position. And the... Swing and miss. Breaking ball. They got souls in the hand. As the pitch comes in, 
There's the move over to first, and no, Souls evaded the tag. Oh, that's close to a balk. And I think he might be out if... And the runner is out. Up and in, ball four. Lofted, deep left field, back to the wall. And it is in left field, rolling away from the fielder books. Extra bases for Pennington, it drives in a run. Wolfpack takes a 9-8 to eight lead. So he was about mm, probably five feet away from a home run right there. But once again, it's an off-speed pitch that he sees up in his zone. Does a great job getting the foot down. Barely misses a home run. And Makarevich is going to be given first base. Two strikes, two outs, two on. Kozart blasts it high up into the air, center field. It will stay in the yard. Again, teams like this, and even at this just level of baseball, well, there you go. Ripped into left field. Bender with his first hit of the evening leads it off with a single for the shot to clears. Barthol sends it skyward. Shallow left center field. And the catch is made by Ho. Just in the last frame in the eighth. Bounced up the middle. Shift. Butterworth steps on the bag. The throw is in time at first. I would assume they challenge this. A magnificent defensive play by Butterworth, but a close one at first for the show. To make a ruling, the call is confirmed. Both runners are out, and the Wolfpack snaps a four-game losing streak.